Carter Bean Bryant. Good evening, good sir. How are you? Yeah, I, I, I'm going hatless because you're hatless. Showing off uh, the hair looks great, man. Thank you. I have impeccable Italian mafia styled hair. Huh? Huh? Yeah, to an honor of Tommy DeVito uh, getting the job back. I, I don't DeVito. know if you got the text. I think only Italians got this text to more, this morning when Tommy DeVito was announced that he was going to be the new Giants uh, quarterback. We all, you know, all of us Italians, true Italians, got a text message this morning and said, Tell, let everybody know that we're back. And we are back. Tommy DeVito is back, so the Italians are back, and he's going to lead the Giants to a playoff run. Here we go. And and before we get to football, uh, I'm glad I mean, Samias. Technically talking about football, I guess. Yeah, yeah true. But I, I do want to shout out another person that's back, Samaya Smith, coming off the, the ACL. I like seeing her uh, balling out versus Troy Flage as well. But now we get to football. Let's go. Speaking of basketball, what about the big win from Matt McMahon this past week? Oh, Matty Baskets. Let's go, bro. Well, uh, wait, I'm, who? I'm, right? And and that's Jerome Tang, uh, uh, an elite eight uh, head coach. It's good stuff, baby. You love to see it. You love to, You do love to see it. All right. Let's get to it here. Uh, Carter, how in the good wide world do you have the ball for 42 minutes? How do you outgain Florida? How do you have more rushing yards than them? How do you have more passing yards than them? How do you get to the red zone more than them? How do you do what you did on Saturday and find a way to lose a game against Florida the way that you did? Yeah, Blake, I actually agreed with Brian Kelly after the game that it is the weirdest box score that he's ever seen. And that says a lot about, and I know you said it wasn't really a coaching game, I, it does say a lot about coaching that you manage to to lose a game uh, like like this, right? Um, and look, LSU had a lot of things go their way. You know, going into the season or going into this game, Blake, what do we all fear? It's a DJ Lagway's legs. No, he beat you from the freaking pocket. A true freshman quarterback yeah. beat you from the pocket. And look, this to me was the overarching thing and. The film study, watching the plays over and over, it honestly was, Blake, uh, the, the the same players struggling on every single play. It was a lot of young, like very, very young year one and year two guys that aren't ready to be full-time SEC football players. And it makes me uncomfortable, Blake, to talk about it because they're young, right? College football is really freaking hard, especially if you're playing at the highest level on the road in some of the most hostile environments you could possibly play, that's where it showed up. Because, yes, of course, Garrett Nussmeyer had another really poor game. But on top of that, there were guys that are year one and year two guys that started that were not making any plays and, in fact, allowing a lot of big plays to happen uh, because of their existence on, on the field. So that falls on not only the coaching – but it falls on the roster management. And one thing I think LSU has done a bad job of uh, going into games and also just going into the season is evaluating their rosters. It's It's been a big, big, big problem. And until LSU fixes it, whether it's in the portal or whether it's development or whatever, they're going to keep running into issues where they run out of gas at the end of the season and, and just get mauled. All right. I'm going to combat that in two ways. You ready? Let's hear it. Doesn't stop the C.J. Daniels. Me, I, I So let me back up. I agree no with problem. everything you said. It is the same cast of characters. N no doubt about it. Yeah. The problem that I have with it is Kyron Lacey did not have to bump into the DB the way that he did. That's a touchdown. Right. Yeah, that was okay. a bad decision. Yeah. Third and seven, you're going to be at the 10-yard line with a chance to go in and score, and you miss Aaron Anderson and you take a sack. That's not on the interior offensive line. Because Josh Williams missed it, which I guess you can't say Josh is a cash character in pass pro, but that's not an O-line issue. The fumble, okay, the, the fumble's bad by Garrett, the one that Emory Jones picked up. Yeah, that but was bad. Yeah. It, uh, it, it's bad because he's got Kyron Lacey on an in route. I get that some of the mesh routes were a little confusing. Doesn't stop his number one overall read, that being the dig route, okay? Or at least what I perceived as – 
I thought that that would be his number one and then go to the other two. That's how normally it works, but what do I know? Okay. Yeah. Um, it doesn't stop Emory Jones from having a massive lack of awareness to pick the ball up and run with it like a loaf of bread in his hands and then fumble it. At least you have the ability to, to punt the football, and you're not giving them the ball inside the 30. Like that, that That's an issue. Okay? So I'm with you. But here's the problem about the interior offensive line at the current moment. They play bad, and I'm with you. They also were a big part in some cutback lanes for Josh. Like Miles Frazier got enough of a defensive lineman for Josh Williams to have a 22-yard run. Right? Like, I mean, they didn't play great, but they also didn't play bad enough for you to lose the football game either. Not in a, but not by a long stretch. So there comes yeah, a no, I, I, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Sorry, they did. I'm sorry they didn't. Because there's no – You can't sit here and say that Paul Mabinga and DJ Chester did not have disastrous outings. I, I'm not going to put it at cl- clarified as disastering, but what I, what I would say is – you also can't say that you got into the red zone and Kyron that the CJ Daniels touchdown. That's off the board. It's all, it, it, it's off the board, is it yeah. not? No, no you, can't, right. you, yeah. you can't stop the Carter. How else are they moving inside the twenties? If they're having disastrous games, you, yeah, I'm sorry. you can. But those, those, here, those, hold on, hold on. Those, here, those, jo, those plays can still work if they're getting beat, Carter. Your interior offensive line is not disastrous if you run the ball for 170 yards. It's not. But like a lot of the runs were were outside runs. Oh, oh, okay, that you can run a, that you can run away from. Blake, I I I I, 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 I love I love, Blake, I love you, but but Paul Mabinga had a disastrous game. It was bad. I got like that's what I'm saying. It makes you uncomfortable to say it because the the. It, because so, he's young. He, and he's he, here's, here's the problem, though. Okay, with him. All right, you can say he's having a disastrous game, which I don't disagree that he had a bad game. You had a right tackle who has been a day one starter not have the football IQ enough to fall on a fumble and try to run for it. That is idiotic. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. No, no, no. He, he should have done that. The and- third and seven play. That's on Garrett. The 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 oh, Kyron yeah. Lace, the, the the CJ Daniels TD takeaway. Carter, that's not on your interior O line. So we want to label it as one thing, and I'm with you. It's not just one thing. You do not run the football and in, Carter, their longest run came on the inside zone. Okay, wh- wh- which one are the you? The longest right? three runs came from inside zone, if we're gonna be real. So if you want to say disastrous, then how are they having Three runs of 14, 16, and 22. But, like, they, they got beat on almost every other play. Like, it's it's okay. not just me saying this. The, the PFF grades prove it to be Our true. PFF views a third of the game film. Yeah, okay. So, even if you – even if I, – I, I don't know. You would know. I, I wouldn't know. But even if that were the case, okay, once again, they're only year two players – I, I'm, I, I don't like saying this about these two players in particular, but like DJ Chester has not had a game from PFF that's graded as replacement level. He's not had a single one per their grading. So you're telling me over what a 10 game sample that you're I'm starting not talking with, about a 10 game sample. I'm talking about a one game sample. Yes, yes, yes. But my point is I would be a little bit more lenient on that if it's not been this case almost every single game at center, which is, you would agree, the most important offensive line position. Can you defend the three longest runs being inside zone? Like a lot of them were, were outside runs. No, Carter, your three longest runs are inside zone, buddy. Like, they are. I mean, it, okay, it comes from so, your film study, too, when you talk about Miles Frazier getting enough, even though he yeah, lost no, the yes. rep. Oh, okay. And, 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 so you're, and you're right. Okay, is, but – but disastrous is of maybe we're fighting over semantics, right? Okay? But there's but a chance I, we are. But, but at the same time, Carter, again. So so tell me this: If would you, after the first half when Miles Frazier came back into the game, mm-hmm. would you have taken Paul Mabenga out and put Tyree Adams in? I'm yes. Like, oh. Okay, so we're in agreement there. All right. Yes. I I I'm still shocked that 
they did not do that. Okay, especially in a play in a game where he's the kids over. hurt. The kids hurt. I'll tell but, you, the, the kids hurt. It, the only reason Adams, they put him in so Adams is Adams. Okay, they, the only reason I, they I put felt, him in is okay, he had right. no other choice. Let me tell you. Let me tell you what was told to me about that. Okay. I am shocked Adams is even playing, knowing the procedure he had, you know, a few weeks ago. So the fact that he's courageously stepping in, and that was the only way that I would describe not putting him in because that was also Adams. It was clearly known, and Blake, obviously, you're more plugged in than, than I am. We we weren't able to talk on the phone before, it, but it was known that Adams was the sixth guy, right? So, oh, without Brian Kelly said it. Yes. So I e- even though Tyree Adams is you know, muscling it out here. Once again, I, I thought he was out for the, every indication to me was he might be ready for a bowl they, game. But they had to have him for emergency. Right. So Literally. they they told him, hey, you need, okay. So it all makes sense now. So I even with that said, it got to the point where I would have put him at left guard just to see what happens. Now, once again, I hate to pile on those two players in particular and obviously get – the problems with DJ Chester at center is magnified when Garrett Dellinger is not healthy. Okay. But on top of all of that, the two center, the center and the left guard struggling, Garrett had a really tough game. And I know that's where he wanted to go to next. No, was- I, no. Take Garrett out of the equation. But if we do go there, that's fine. Take him out no. of the equation. It's not only him. Okay. Uh, meaning, your, your coaching staff doesn't get a call in, okay, in time enough, and you got to call a timeout to kill a drive, okay? Kyron Lacey had a drop, a miss, and so did Chris. I, I mean, you had two, you had a drop by Mason Taylor on an out route. So, I mean, like, yeah, it's, I not, it's not all on Garrett, but no, it, and, it is and, on, it is and, on and, everybody. But, and, and, and to add to that, Blake, there, the blocking techniques uh, on the edge, uh, w- was not great in this game. I, I um, agree that it wasn't. Yeah, it, it it was tough because, you know, one thing about Malik and BTJ is that they were good blockers too, for the most part. It, and they they LSU's had some issues uh, with that. It's not as bad as it as as, as they it, don't have want to. I don't think they're bad. They don't have want to. That that's now it's it's always tough for me to to, to gauge, but it's it's been a problem. Um, and look, the like, outside zone to the outside zone. There was an outside zone in the first half that Caden Durham could have went for a touchdown, and Mason Taylor missed him. Yeah, and then the Xavion run to the outside um, in the first half was was Mason had a had a had a <laughs> had a miss. It's uh, not all but, on Garrett, but it it it's accumulation of those things, though. Right. And and honestly, like I I think a lot of what happened versus Alabama, you know, I was a little bit more defensive. Uh, I defended a little bit more on on the Garrett Nussmeyer side of things. But this Florida game was bad. Oh. Now did he do? Now did he do some good things in this game? Yes, obviously it wasn't interception here, interception here, but he had three we, fumbles. Yeah, and like the. There's a lot. There's a lot at play. He he's gotten to the point now where he just doesn't trust the middle uh, of his offensive line at all, which is really the only way to describe him not stepping up into the pocket. And look, it's not just us saying this. You sent me a text of a national draft analyst pointing this out. Uh, Corey Kennan is his name. Um, and I don't know Corey personally, but I, I've I've seen his work before. He knows ball. Um, it's, I mean, it's he problem. literally points to the hole. I, right. I, I mean, like he literally, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. And and Garrett made as 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 much as you know the Kyron mistake and the mistakes by some of the offensive linemen. Garrett made life a lot harder on everyone. And look, I'm not sitting here telling Garrett to become Jaden or anyone like that, or even he's got to run the ball. Yeah, it's 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 a Big, big, big problem. And this is where I will heavily defend not only DJ Chester, but any offensive lineman that's ever played the game. If you're given clear rushing lane. So just to give you an idea of what I saw to be a big problem is because Florida didn't have to respect Garrett's ability to run in the run game, the backside end could just crash and squeeze every 
angle down, and that is brutal on your offensive line, and it's brutal on your running back as well. So the fact that they never actually pull it, okay? Like, you know this because you watch all the teams, uh, but I cover Arkansas and Texas pretty closely on my SEC channel. To no. win the game, to win the game, Steve Sarkeesian called a Quinn Ewers pull read, and what happened, Blake, on the play? They got a first down and it ended the game. It was a, and it, it wasn't just a first down. It was a clear first down. I mean, he could have gotten that running and it backwards. Was slow. And it was yeah, slow. It was not right. even a clean pull. Okay. The fact oh, that he, he, he looks like me, like trying to yes, run. I, I, it's, one it's, one of those things where, it's, it's one of those weird things where, um, like you at home would have been able to do it because you're, you're not expecting it. And the pull is what now every team that plays Texas is like, Oh shit, I got to worry about Quinn pulling it once in a blue moon. The fact that you haven't done it once, once. And the fact that Garrett will not run up the gut, and it's not only the running up the gut, Blake, it's stepping in, right? Sometimes in life, as you know, as a father or two, you have to come in, okay? <laughs> you, you have to. You have to. You, you have to, okay? That, uh, and I don't. Ask Antonio Show is Brown. canceled. Show is canceled. No, it's not. It's not. It, and and I don't have any kids. So sometimes in life you 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 have to do it, right? Ask Antonio Cromarty. Ask Philip Rivers. A ask ask Nick Cannon. You 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 have you have. Oh, to, Nick Cannon's the goat. Yeah, Nick Cannon. But uh, trust me, there's gonna he literally was has been wilding out. So and wilding in. So it's. It, and, and shout out Wild and Out. I have a few friends that have been on that show. But either way, step up in to the 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 the, the pocket is is a message. But honestly, I Blake, oh, go ahead. No, go, no, no, go on, go on. Because I, I couldn't get through the first quarter before this happens. Yeah, you just got to throw that to Aaron. I, I, I mean, I understand that Josh gets obliterated. I get it. I understand it. Carter, it's third and seven. Right. Well, so was it the third quarter or the second quarter play? Oh, it might have been the second. It, this yeah, might have been the second quarter. Yeah, yeah. This has got to be converted. I, I mean, like, the, Carter, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's got to be converted. Yeah. If I, mean, I, got, I yeah. am Aaron Anderson, I am livid. I am yeah. absolutely livid. Be yeah. Because this, ha like, this is just the pinnacle, right? Like, this is just the 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 cherry on top. I get your O lines bad. I get the interior O lines bad. However, Carter, from a coaching ass, here's what I know is happening. I know for a fact. Uh, let me not say I know it for a fact. Let me back up. Scratch that. I would assume that Garrett is being coached that because of the interior offensive line, when you have it, when you ha when you see open guys, short, throw it. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it's being told to him. Okay, they had tried to establish that with him early by throwing the ball to Aaron Anderson four times. Literally, ever decide? Yeah, you're right. And in the second half, he went away from it. Com completely. I, yeah. I, what, I love Chris Hilton more than anybody. Stop throwing it. Yeah, he, he's playing bad. Yeah, he's bad. Yeah. Get, the, get the eight yards. And yeah. Aaron Anderson, who has half the targets, uh, yet again, even with the targets that he had this past week. Hiya. Okay, Mosquito. That's got to be completed. The picture we just showed has got to be completed. So I'm yeah. sorry if you listen on the audio podcast, but it's a picture that I posted on Twitter. You can go and find it. Yeah, yeah. So and look, you, you, you. Yeah. I, I'm with you. I think we're missing the bigger understanding of here that when they are doing good, they're not getting the help that they deserve. So when they win, like on the fumble, and like this situation right here on a third down, which by the way they sent six. You can't see it on the on the, on the steal shot. They sent six. So everybody's got a man. And I understand Josh loses the rep. That's got to be completed. And, and and you're the highest paid guy for a reason. I mean, the quarterback always will and always should be. 
But you got to it. You got to complete that. That wins and loses you football games, especially when you've been struggling in the red zone. Yeah, and, and, look, and here's look. another. Oh, go ahead. No, no, no. To your point. Okay, there there are instances where you know you had the fumble, and then on on the following drive there was a third down where he really couldn't do anything about it, but. Let, let's take Joe Sloan's best play call of the, of the of the night, where Os Juke, or it wasn't a Juke. Well, so what they did was they were running outside zone, outside zone, outside zone repeatedly. Then they ran play action out of it, and Mabenga got okay. beat, but, yep. but but Garrett had a chance to still step up and throw a deep corner to a wide open Kyron Lacy, and. He didn't step up. He ran into a sack, and he could have just if he didn't want and to. Throw he didn't want to take the hit. He, he, and yeah, and if he didn't want to throw it to Kyron, he could have just ran through once again for a, a huge amount of yardage. And what happened was Blake is a big problem with the LSU offense. If if I were to break it down as simply as I possibly can, and this is where you could also defend Sloan in many ways. All right. Garrett's deep ball accuracy has been ass for the most part. It's not been good. It's not been good. It's not been where you know it can be with his arm talent. All right. And then obviously LSU's had some issues running the football with, you know, two high shells. And a lot of that, once again, is 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 on your offensive line, your play calling, your sequencing. Didn't have a problem this week. Right. And what 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 I would say is um it all goes back to Garrett's inability to run or unwillingness to run because what Florida did was with their underneath linebackers, they would completely turn their backs to the play. And no regard for human world that he would run the ball. Right. And what that does, just just for viewers, you, you could just think of this simply. You don't have to know football. You don't have to know X's and O's. What that does for a defender is if I know you're never going to do this thing, I can eliminate that thing from being a part of the Rolodex of things that I need to do as a defender. So if I could completely turn your back and break and just guard all in breakers and know that the quarterback is never just going to run wide open through a lane, then defense is going to continue to do it. And then your pass rush, this makes your life a lot harder on offensive linemen. Okay. And part of the issue for LSU's offensive line is the culture shock because last year you had the single quarterback that helps offensive linemen more out than anybody else. And now you have a quarterback who makes life very difficult on your offensive line because you you never tuck and run. So if I as a defensive lineman know that I don't have to worry about that at all, I'm able to pin my ears back. I also know that I can, versus an offensive tackle, beat you to the inside, beat you to the outside, and I have to worry about anything. So it's 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 a problem. That's why you know I have harped on Garrett so much for running, and I've gotten a lot of messages saying, "Well, you do know it's not going to. You're expecting him to to run for 20, 30 yards. That's no, no you're not. You're expecting him to run for seven. That's it. Th- those that alone." is so valuable and one other thing that you'll notice from a lot of quarterbacks uh that do that just alone if they have the ability to do that and they don't turn the football over their qbrs are a little bit higher right because a quarterback scramble is such an efficient play all right think about it if a quarterback scrambles there is no drop that can happen to the play there is no tip pass that can happen to the play it, you you could obviously be sacked, but if you're stepping up into the pocket, guess what else happens, Blake? You're not you're not getting stripped seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. So you know, Jaden took a lot of sacks his first year as a starter. Well, guess what? A lot of those a sacks lot of really, them were like two yards, two yards, one or two yards. So instead of it being second and uh, you know Pachatula, it's it's just second and and eleven, right? So. That's a, a big, 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 big problem uh, with Garrett. And I understand. I, I will defend him to the high heavens in, in many ways because of protection issues, play calling, and all of that. But, look, a, a, a lot of it is 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 on him, in particular in this Florida game. I And, Blake, 
I do my own grading of every of every game. I thought this was his worst game. I, I really do think so. I thought this was his worst game, and um, and I hope it changes uh, for Vanderbilt. Oh, I'm not picking LSU to win this week. Oh no! Come on. Come no, on. I'm not. You you can't you you can't the first week in the pure. So I saw someone tweet this out. I don't remember which writer. We have worn gold uniforms since '96. Okay. I'm By not the way, do you, hi, uh, quick question. Trivia. Yeah, what was LSU's record? In, don't look it up. Everybody in the chat. What was LSU's record in 1996? I, I don't know. 10 and they 2? Ten, they were 10 and 2 under Jerry DiNardo. They went to the Peach Bowl and beat Clemson. Mm. Mm. They also beat Tulane that year. I'm glad we're not playing them this year. I'm glad. I, all right, stop. stop. <laughs> You're not losing to Tulane. I got into it with someone about this earlier. It's not going to happen. LSU has struggles against SEC opponents. I, I'm with you. Put them in a bowl game together. See what happens. I double I, dog, I double dog here. Put them in the Pop Tart Bowl. I'll be there. I'll be there. Where is the Pop Tart Bowl? I think it's in North Carolina or somewhere like that. I don't know. But I want if LSU goes to the Pop Tart Bowl and wins it. I will do this one. I will eat a whole thing of brown cinnamon Pop Tarts warm with a glass of milk. On the show. I, tweet, I tweeted out earlier. I'll go be the mascot and eat 50 boxes on site <laughs> if LSU is in. I, I want to be in the Pop Tart Bowl Where's so the- bad. Dude, we're going to be in the Pop-Tart Bowl. That's what pisses me off. All right. Yeah, no, it sucks. Look, one more thing about about this play. Can we even talk about the defense? That the, I know we're out of time. but I'm not I'm not going to. Sorry. You gave up 13 points, Carter, in 50 minutes. You had the ball for 42 minutes, and you got 16 points. I'm sorry. I ain't talking about them. Nope. Oh, Blake, come on. They were not good. They were not good. Carter, they gave up 13 points in 50 minutes. They broke, and you know why they broke. It. I'm sorry, sorry. You. By mm-hmm. the way, one of the TD drives. Wasn't one of the T. Wait, didn't one of the TD drives start at the thirty-two yet again? You want to talk about defense? You want to talk about defense? Did you know that LSU that LSU's offense started at the twenty-yard line? Did you know that Florida started at the forty? No, no, no. I'm not saying I'm not saying they played the worst game ever. Like on a scale of one to ten, ten being great, one being not great. I would I would give them a five, maybe. I'd give them a f- five. They did average seven Carter, yards. You can't point. have the ball for 42 minutes and and blame them for a loss. Sorry. No, I'm not blaming them for a loss, but they weren't. It, all right, You're, well, let's get it. All right, l- let's get into them then. Go ahead. Go ahead. So they played a pocket quarterback this weekend. So they had the benefit of their the, the best attribute of a true freshman quarterback not being there. Okay. I, I I'll I'll say this. I think certain individuals defensively played really, really, really bad, and some guys did some really, really good things all right let, let's call it what it is you're talking about safety play well not just safety uh you had one guy play a shutdown corner game and then you had the other corner really struggle okay it was it was yeah. tough it was yeah, tough. And stamps got beat he got beat a lot yeah it was tough and mm-hmm. so basically did you hear bk today yeah, what did he say? That first touchdown. Oh, on the stutter and go or the – Well, he said we were – you heard him say that we were supposed to be doubling him, right? That's, oh, so he that's was. literally how he, how, how he let off the take. The double move, it was supposed to be a Badger or Marshall, whichever one. Was Badger. Supposed to be, yeah, Badger was supposed to be double teamed. They're supposed to have a guy right on top of Ashton Stamps. So, let – Let's take this away from Ashton Stamps. Act like the first one didn't happen. Here's the bigger problem that I have is Whit Weeks. Not Whit Weeks' play. 
even though I think instead of the honky badger, he's playing like the donkey badger. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's that you lost communication when you were supposed to be doubling a guy, and then you lost communication on the on the back breaking toss. Yeah, and which been either like donkey badger. Uh, Call him what it is. He's been the donkey badger. Well, it he's either been like touching Devin White like level games, and then he's had some other games where it's just been tough. Donkey uh, badger. I mean, you know what they call a donkey. <laughs> I mean, let's call it what it is. He, he had a, he had a tough game. Uh, okay. I would, yeah, he had a tough oh, game. Okay, a Carter, tough game. these kids were getting paid, bud. I, he had I mean, a tough, no, I, I'll be critical of, of a player. He had a he had a uh, uh, okay. I th- he had a he had a tough 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 tough. Yeah, tough he's playing very bad, but he's not the only one. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know. Like I I, I feel personnel wise, <laughs> you you're you're really really struggling playing so many young guys in such a hostile 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 place. I gotta stop you. The, I, I've heard that for weeks. That's bullshit. Seven of your starters are seniors. Yeah, Seven. yeah, but. All, all, all the young guys who had to play a lot were, okay. were not good. Well, Whit Weeks has been in twenty-two games. Whit Weeks has played twenty-two games. No, no, no. He played. I, I, okay. I, I have no problem like fully criticizing him, but okay. But hold on. Ron Keys had a tough game. Okay, I, it's his first game ever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's oh, okay, like, so but, but that, that, that goes back to the structural problems of building a roster and and and, the, and building depth it, it I'm was with, i'm with you but the problem is you got one freshman on the field and then you start off your defensive line in the second quarter with Savion jones a senior brayden swinson a senior pair shand a senior and geo pie as a senior that that was your defensive line for majority of the game in some aspects or some regards you have a senior at linebacker. You have three seniors at safety. Three. Oh, yeah. Carter. That's nine of the 11. What I'm not going to do is look at the other two, or, yeah, two in that equation, and say, okay, Ashton Sams, you had a tough game. Okay, that that's fine. Carter, the safeties are making boneheaded plays. Oh, yeah. No, I'm with you. I'm with Sage you. Sage Ryan cannot find an angle. if He's got to be the worst person for geometry ever. Because <laughs> he doesn't know angles. Yeah, no, I get that. It's, 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 a, it's a rather obtuse statement from you. Uh, and, and I'm tired I, of hearing Brian Kelly run out there every week, to your point, and saying to me, we're young – our team is young when nine dudes on the field are seniors. That that's it's Carter, it's very, very, very tough for me. No, I'm 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 I, I am I am on I am on your side. It's just they're the year one and year two guys really had tough, 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 tough games. And and it it was it was it was tough. It was really 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 tough. Carter, That's why I don't there's feel nine seniors on the on the field. Yes, and they 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 were bad, but Ashton Stamps was so burnt. He's in a this first game. year guy, Carter. He started seven games at the end of the year. Yeah, he's I mean, still, to, to he's be still honest, here. So let's call it what it is. Ashton they shouldn't have given him Uno. They shouldn't have given him Uno. Oh my God! Here you go. The okay. jersey number thing is a real thing. Carter, he started yeah. 17 games. Like yeah. we're in November. This kid's this kid's not a sophomore anymore. Yeah, you need better returns. And you need better well, returns. Okay. And, 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 Blake, one, and, and you know, yeah, and Blake, you know this personally from our private conversations. I am a huge Blake Baker believer. Huge. Okay. He doesn't have the dudes. What yeah, he does. He does not have the dudes. Okay. And and I will say. There was concern, and I, 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 I hammered this point home I, that I felt the defensive depth 
uh, wasn't where it needs to be. There was a lot of concern amongst LSU staffers that, that they felt this way. Mm. Okay? And I'll say, I'll, they, they did. Okay. Just oh. Okay. When Jacoby Guillory went down, they almost lost their mind. Yeah. And it, it's been a problem. But what I would also say is if I was Corey Raymond, Okay, or if I was Blake Baker and the fact that I st- I kept putting stamps in press man, that was that was bad. I you shouldn't have if you were going to keep playing him, knowing that he's struggling, okay, you you got you can't put him in press man. You just can't do it. You're uh you're 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 setting himself up to to not succeed, right? If if because look, Stamps has had some really good outings. He's made some Really good plays. Did really but, good against Trey Harris, as an example. At least I thought in my opinion. Yeah, after the early miss, he, he did some good things. I I have no idea why they kept putting him there. Okay. And it was or it who was, they're gonna put there for him. Right, but I wouldn't have like for instance, on the deep pass to 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 Badger, Stamps Which was in one? Well, the one, the one, the second to last touchdown okay. where they pounded it on. Stamps was also beaten really, really, really bad in that play. And in that play, and I would have been like, "Wait, we we just need to stop. We we just need to." But I think that they like Stamps just got beat so bad it really didn't matter. So in their defense, it it was it was tough. You got to have dudes to play man to man coverage. Yeah, and honestly, and and I've had other corners uh tell tell me this to play corner it, it, you just gotta you just gotta have it like it's just i think you coach up uh and a not dude safety and and have him be a decent safety i think a, a corner you it's either you got it or you don't now can you work on things and get better yes but to me corner is a position you either have it or you don't okay well you got two five stars committed and they're gonna have to play immediately yeah and look this is something I, I don't get from from many is like, well, LSU's playing bad. Uh, the recruits are gonna are gonna leave. Oh, and, I'm ready for this conversation. Let's do it. And and then it's, oh, you do your show and you do the film. The recruits are gonna leave. I, no, that would if I was a recruit, I'd be like, hell, I could play. You're telling and me play as now. A, as that's, why a tr- Phillips, that's why Kay Phillips and DJ's coming. Yeah, if I am a freaking true freshman. And I, I'm watching the game. Or, I mean, I think young seventeen and eighteen year olds are more excited about prom and going to Applebee's and getting two for twenty Sizzlers and all that stuff. Not what I was worried about at eighteen, but okay. Right. Or if you're worried about getting a a, a can of dip. You're talking about here. Come in and come come out. I mean, that's all I was worried about. You're talking about that earlier. Right. So you. I have better things to do than watch my my field study. But if they were to watch a field study, it's a recruit. The parents would. The dad would. Yes. Okay. And look, I I get angry messages from players, parents, and 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 all that. You get angry messages all the time. <laughs> not more than me. But if I were a young freaking recruit and I see guys getting cooked, the opposite is true. You're telling me that I have a path to playing time. And let me tell you this, the coaches can sell that in recruiting as well. Like, hey, if you're good enough, don't don't take my word for it that I'm going to play you. I'm not going to have a freaking choice. You're going to get your chance. You're going to get to prove it. Come, come, just, 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 just come, come see if you if you if you can play right away because there's obviously playing time there. Here's the problem. I see a lot. I thought this is where you're going to take it, but I'll take it here. Here's the, the problem that I see with this fan base and, and, and I think coaching staff, oh, we have help coming, help is on the way. That does nothing for me next year. It, 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 it does nothing. And your job is to, like, are, are, are we going to go into a line with both of our boundary corners being true freshmen? That's what you think is going to lead you to a playoff. So you you want to be active in this portal cycle. Oh, you, you're damn right. Yeah, and that's what, that, right. that like, was gonna it, be my. It, it, let's just say you don't go for corner, okay? 
if a Caleb Downs goes in the portal and he you don't offer him $1.2 million, this is where I'm going to start getting unhinged because then you're not really ready to go. You're not you, – what have you – would you hire Austin Thomas for? Yeah, I mean – yeah. You want to claim that you're the Ohio, like the Ohio States of the world, right? You're a brand like that. You're a brand like Ole Miss right now. You're 37 and 23 since the portal era opened, and you know what you haven't done? Won a recruiting battle war when it came to money. Now, you know that, and I know that. By the way, yeah, not true. Hold, on, hold on one second. We talked about Oklahoma tonight on Rafino and Joe show. You want to hear something very interesting? Oklahoma, their run defense is 18th in the country, and their offense is worse than yours. And you want to hear something else? Demonic Williams is fourth in the SEC in tackles for loss. Don't want to pay the money for David Stone? Okay, sounds good. He leads all freshmen in tackles for loss. So you want to, you, you want to come at me and you want to say, it's not how you build. As the great Ron Burgundy once said, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's – it's. You got to go I, get dudes and difference makers. The reason you won the way that you did, Carter, at LSU is because you had difference makers. Here's another thing. If you don't get two safeties, I might lose my shit. I might lose it. Because then you're telling me that, you, that this is going to be a longer process and this is going to be a, another yet slow build. I that was the one thing I cringed the most about with Brian Kelly when you know Ooh. he was like we're still, we're still gonna do the high school route Which, and from a foundational piece I agree I totally it's agree gotta be that. your foundation Carter again though you gonna tell me that you're not going for a guard in the portal yeah I, I like I it makes no sense it makes absolutely no sense I mean you. I and and this and I understand people are like, well, don't don't go mercenary, and you're worried about culture and all of that. How's I, old, how's old Mrs. culture? That's right. That, exactly. I mean, ju- I'll tell you this: just one, okay, just one of those transfers that Ole Miss brought in would drastically increase your defense. Okay, and that's. That's the point. That's that's my major point. Is, is has LSU schematically been the absolute best this year? No. Okay, but to me, the bigger problem has been there are just too many guys that just aren't it right now, and it's tough. How many to get. times does a quarterback make a bad play because a defensive lineman did something that he schematically he wasn't supposed to do, but his athleticism won him again, won him the rep? Yeah. That's, that, uh, that's what makes no. them the greats. That when you boil it down to simple facts, that's what makes them the greats. Kyle Kennard. I know for a fact that there was an FBS coach in the SEC on this staff who told me Kyle Kennard was going to lead the SEC in sacks this year. And I laughed. Not laughing now. And I know the price tag. I, I know the price tag on that one. And I'm just going to tell you, if you're not really out, ready to go out there and snap some necks and cash some checks, it's the fucking Catalina wine mixer. Buddy, do I have something bad that I got to tell you? <laughs> yeah, you, Carter, I, you, yeah. You, it's, you got to. You cannot have another year like this. Yeah. That's and, when shit starts spiraling. And and one thing, and, and it's important to get proven guys, like someone that is is proven because – Look, it is impossible to like even if you're the best high school developer, it is so freaking hard to to find the right guy. And it's so different if I could look at real collegiate power four film uh and you actually end up being good, right? More often than not, it it's going to translate. And I, I just want to say this for everyone that wants to do the culture thing. Did LSU get scared off by what happened with guys like Denver Harris? There was some of that, okay? But it doesn't excuse not 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 doing it, okay? 
it doesn't. Okay, you you got to find those guys. Uh, because look, Blake, I, I'll be honest. When, when watching LSU this weekend, that was one of the more least talented teams we have put on, on a field that 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 I can remember in the modern era. I mean, the, you legitimately are picking Vanderbilt to beat us in a home night game this weekend. Not because of talent. I got to see that you're mentally strong enough to beat him. Oh, see, <laughs> I was going to see how long you're going to wait. Well, but. no, I, I no, I was interested in your re- So you think? Carter, I saw a team that quit in the second half. Oh, so you 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 think that they gave up? I half. do think that they gave up. I do. Go ahead and play around with Diego Pavia. You go right on ahead. I, I will I will tell you that this Vanderbilt team, a gazillion percent, is going to have more one two this weekend than LSU. It's impossible to not if you're Vanderbilt. Okay, it's impossible to not because they they've been known as the the home wreckers uh, of the mm-hmm. SEC this year. And also, and Clark, Clark, Lee, Clark Lee wants to get one over on his old his old uh, coach. Is, yeah, one of his mentors. Hell yeah, I would too. Mm-hmm. So, so Vanderbilt's going to come in definitely more locked in. Uh, it's it's impossible. In, and I know LSU had the 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 players only uh, whatever, but I'm so there's, tired. Don't they, don't shit come from player only me. Yeah, yeah there, there there's no doubt in my mind that every single Vanderbilt player is going to have their chin straps buckled, wanting to murder LSU to literally pull the spine out of our backs and hold it on the eye of, ti- of the tiger. That's how badly they want. This Can you stop a running quarterback? No. So that's the other oh, thing. Okay. Is like, then Diego Pavia is going to light your ass up. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm worried sick about this game. Worried, uh, you worried, better. Worried. You think I'm crazy for picking against him. I'm worried sick. I'm worried sick. All right. Last thing. <laughs> I, I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you. Go on. Don't do it. You can't do that. Paige Ryan and and Braden Swenson kind of made some headlines the last 24 hours. What have you made of all this? Of what? You tell me. I mean, they were out for the first quarter because they were missing meetings and people's feelings got hurt this week. Okay. Uh. I, How about I, this? I, I, Here, here's what I'm at. Do you see if you okay, agree or right, disagree? Right. Yeah, How about you don't show up late for meetings? How about we start being a little bit more accountable and acting like an adult? Yeah. If I'm going to pay okay. you like an adult, you better act like one. No, I'm I'm with you. Who you are off the field matters. Okay, it matters. It it really, really, really does. Now, I have if, no sympathy for laziness. I'm with you. I will say, if in return I get best defensive end in the SEC level play, which Braden Swinson is not the best defensive end in the SEC, but he's played at that level, and I think he played overall a decent game versus Florida, sure. But Sage Ryan, I— He's got to be benched. He's got to be benched. I'm sorry. He's got to be benched. This the is most— a- like, I'll tell you this. The most sinking feeling of my last five seasons is watching my dog, Boog, die. The second worst feeling. Okay, outside of other big world events before people go crazy, is knowing when Jaden freaking Ball broke through that Sage Ryan, there's not a single LSU fan that is breathing today that thought Sage Ryan was going to make that tackle. There's not a single. One. Oh no! You can not- ask the guys at Service Hawk. I threw my notepad. I, yeah, I, threw, I threw it down. Was like, oh, everyone's like, oh, they're like, oh shit, Sage is back there. Everybody knew. Like, if you were to ask me, if you were to put a gun in my head, hey, Carter, what would would you would you either pick for your livelihood, Sage Ryan making a tackle, or Sage Ryan actually pushing him into the end zone? 
helping him get into the end zone, I would have said, oh, he definitely pushed him in. Not only did he push him in, he gave, I, I would have said, he he said, oh, here's a hundred dollars. I'll give you, I, I'll give you a hundred dollars. Sage also probably uh, more than likely would have given him a back rub. All right. I would have, I would have guessed that before him actually making the tackle. It's, imp- it's, it's virtually impossible for him to make a touchdown. So it's, he can't do it. It's, it's not in, in the cards. It's impossible. He can't do it. It's kind of like me losing weight during Christmas season. It's not going to happen. All right. You like them Sage real Ryan, Christmas trees, don't you? I do. Sage Ryan cannot make a touchdown saving tackle. It is the single most important thing. All right. So why? And I, I get asked this a lot. Why is it to be the most important thing on a defense? Well, Blake, you played the game. You know this. Every run play is designed for one guy to be unblocked because you have a quarterback and it's impossible to block every single one of the guys. Okay. And then the guy having the football is running. And that's why it makes, it makes the quarterback run so dangerous. Right. So the guy that's normally unblocked is a safety. All right. So that is a guy that the running back has to miss for an explosive game to be an explosive game. Now, should the run have ever gotten to that point? No, but that is why your fucking name is a safety. You are a safety. You are the safety valve. That is why the position is named that, okay? Freaking be our safety valve, all right? That ended the game. That ended the game because it made it a two-possession game. If you make Florida execute in the red zone, you might hold them to a field goal and you're still in the game. That one thing cost – it didn't cost you the game. Carter, they would have been up a touchdown. What? They would have only been up a touchdown. Yes, if you hold them to a field goal. All right. And by the way, one of Florida's – well, actually, all of Florida's touchdowns weren't really exec, like red zone execution, right? One was a deep passing play in the extended-ish red zone – Another was a deep passing play that got them down to the one yard line. And then you had that 70 plus yard run. That is why the LSU defense is so sickening because so much of you as a defense is stopping the other team in the red zone, in the reasonable red zone, like making them have to convert from five yards out. It's hard as shit to score from the five yard line. It's hard. Even if you're even if you're given three 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 downs, oh LSU knows it's hard to score in the red zone. That's for yeah. damn sure. Yeah, you can throw it to the other team like we've been doing. You've got to make that tackle. You've got to do it. You are the multiple year into. But w- what do we do? Okay, we could have dodged this bullet if we would have just let say dry and walk in the portal. But we got a bunch of cryptic tweets. Then what? Well, you know what else is going to be a great idea, Blake? Let's give say dry the green dot. All right, to, to, to line us up and be our leader. Why? Why do this when we know it's going to be a failure? By the way, every position he has tried, even kickoff return, okay, even on kickoff return, it's a disaster. It is a unmitigated disaster when he's on the field. But for some reason, we keep doing it, okay? All right, and, and like I said, I get very uncomfortable criticizing any player, in particular year one or year two player. But now we got these other discipline things where he's not re- – what? He's not available in the first quarter? Okay. So we're not going to have him for the first quarter. Let's put him back into the game and give him the green dot, which in many ways is a captaincy. It's you're the leader. You're the one that sets us up. Why? Why do we do this? Why are we sending this message to the rest of the team? Makes no sense. Makes no freaking sense. Carter, the power of Brian. That's what makes you the best, buddy. All right, buddy. We'll talk soon.